Good Sunday evening, everyone. I'm meteorologist James Parrish in the Dick Goddard Weather Center. For much of the area, it was a very warm and sunny fall day. Temperatures across much of the area topped out in the low to middle 80s. While for many of us or for some others, the second half of the day turned into a bit rainy as well as stormy at times. And there's still the potential for some storms for the very far southeastern corner of northeast Ohio for the next hour or two. After that, that chance of rain will wind down for the entire area. So a severe thunderstorm watch is, te is still technically in effect for the counties highlighted in yellow. This does include Mahoning, Columbiana, Carroll, Tuscaroras, as well as Stark County. Now, if you don't see your county highlighted in yellow, that means we're not expecting any strong to severe thunderstorms for you, and you're probably going to stay dry for the rest of the evening and overnight hours. It's the area that we're, that's highlighted in yellow that's under the severe thunderstorm watch that still has the potential for seeing perhaps a few strong to severe thunderstorms over the next hour or two. So yes, this watch technically stays in effect until 11 o'clock this evening, but by 8 or 9 o'clock this evening, this watch watch will likely be canceled, so the watch will likely be canceled early because we're really only seeing showers and storms across the very far southeastern corner of the area. So let's jump into Storm Fox. Here's the very latest with Storm Fox. You can see much of the area stay dry. Now, if you're wondering why did I miss out on the rain today? It's because the cold front was moving through the, is moving through the area right now, and it was the cold front that start. Um, it was the cold front that triggered these downpours and storms this afternoon. Now these storms did not develop out to our west across parts of western Ohio or Michigan or Indiana. They actually developed right over northeast Ohio earlier this this evening, and it was for place along and east of 77. That's where these showers and storms did develop around four or five o'clock this evening. Now they're moving off the east and we're still tracking the potential for some scattered rain showers as well as some storms for our far southeastern communities. But for places along and west of 71, you're not going to see any rain this evening. In fact, the rest of the evening for you is going to be rather quiet. Temperatures right now are generally in the mid to upper 70s. Some places that have seen some rain and storm activity are in the upper 60s and lower 70s. Let's go ahead and zoom in on some of the action because we still do have some stronger storms in the area, mainly across parts of Columbiana, Carroll, and Tuscaroras County. So we'll zoom in on some of the action, see where the heaviest rain is right now, as well as the strongest storm activity. Looks like we're tracking a cluster of stronger storms across Columbiana County, just to the south of Salem, just to the north of Salineville, right through center. And where we are seeing perhaps the darker shades of red, that's where maybe some small hails coming down, as well as some brief heavy rain. And some of the downpours and storms that we're seeing right now are also producing some frequent lightning. You may have noticed those lightning icons I just put on. That's how much lightning that storm foxes are picking up on over the last half hour or so. So some of the storms that we're tracking right now are big booming storms. Now, yes, there's still that severe thunderstorm watch that's in effect until 11, which once again will likely be canceled early. And if we were to see a strong severe thunderstorm between now and let's say 8 o'clock this evening, it does look like the main threats are probably going to be just some strong, if not damaging wind gusts, as well as some large hail. The tornado threat moving forward this evening does look like it's going to remain very low, but it's not exactly zero. As of right now, it looks like most of the storms that have turned tornadic have stayed out to our east across western PA. But once again, we're seeing a cluster of some downpours and storms across Columbiana County. Also, as we shift off farther down to the southwest for parts of Carroll County as well as Tuscaroras County, we're also still seeing some developing downpours and storms that direction as well. Carrollton probably seeing some pockets of moderate to heavy rain right now. It looks like New Philadelphia, you probably just saw some rain and storm activity. We're seeing some downpours and storms develop across Coshocton County right now. This activity is moving off to the east, and most of this activity will likely be east of the area or into western PA by 8 o'clock this evening. So that's why I do believe the threat for any strong to severe thunderstorms and any additional rain or storm activity will likely come to an end by 8 o'clock this evening. Once again, if you're not seeing rain or storms right now, then you're probably not going to see rain or storms moving forward this evening. Now, what brought in the rain and storms so far today was actually a cold front, and this cold front is still going to have an impact on our weather moving forward overnight and tomorrow. So you can see out ahead of the front, tracking some downpours and storms from western New York through western PA all the way through parts of eastern Ohio. 
those storms will shift off to our east over the next couple of hours and the threat for any strong to severe thunderstorms once again for us will likely come to an end by 8 o'clock this evening. Well, look at the air behind the cold front. We're seeing temperatures in the upper 50s and 60s across parts of the Great Lakes as well as the upper Midwest. That's the cooler air that's going to pour into northeast Ohio overnight, and that's the air that's going to be here for tomorrow. So yes, today felt more like summer with high temperatures in the low to middle 80s. That's about 15 degrees above normal for this time of year. We also saw a spike in the humidity this afternoon at ahead of the front. Dew point temperatures did climb to near 60 degrees. So at times today, today felt a little humid, especially for early October. But as this cold front moves through, it's going to kick the heat and the humidity out of the area. And we are back to some fantastic weather to kick off the upcoming work week. So let's go ahead and take the, the, um, the, the look at our very latest hour by hour forecast with Futurecast. Here it is at 7 o'clock this evening, doing a pretty good job showing those clusters or that broken line of downpours and storms from south of Youngstown to Lisbon to Carrollton back towards New Philadelphia. Notice the rest of the area is dry, especially for places along and west of 71. So once again, our western community is going to stay dry and quiet for the rest of the evening hours, even for Akron, Canton. I know you saw some downpour, uh, excuse me, I know Canton saw a downpour or storm earlier this evening, but Canton, Worcester, Akron, Ravenna, Chardon, Warren, Ashtabula, Painesville, and Cleveland, not going to see any more rain this evening. Really, that chance of rain will just continue for our far southeastern communities. So talking about Columbiana, Carroll, and Tuscaroras County for until 8 o'clock this evening. As I stop feature cast at 8 o'clock this evening, notice where the rain and storms go. Out to our south and down to our, um, out to our east and down to our south. So the rest of the evening looks like it's going to stay dry. We're going to have mostly clear conditions by midnight, but late tonight and the first thing Monday morning, clouds will start to increase across the area. So many of us will wake up to mostly cloudy conditions. Despite the clouds, really not expecting any rain Monday morning. Then the clouds will break up from west to east across the area. So we should end Monday with quite a bit of sunshine. Now, I do expect mostly clear and quiet conditions once again, Monday night into Tuesday morning. So for tonight, my forecast low 53 degrees, increasing clouds will be breezy. Northwest wind at 10 to 15 miles per hour. It is that northwest wind at 10 to 15 miles per hour that's going to bring in that cooler air for tomorrow. So tomorrow will be a much cooler day. In fact, high temperatures tomorrow could be about 15 degrees cooler tomorrow compared to today. Temperatures will warm to the will slowly warm to the 50s tomorrow morning, then top out near 60 degrees tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow still looks like it's going to be breezy at times with the northwest wind at 10 to 15 miles per hour. 60 degrees is on the cooler side for early October. Keep in mind our average high for this time of year is 68 degrees. Now, if you are going to game two of the ALDS, let's go guards. The guards will take on the Tigers at Progressive Field tomorrow at 408 tomorrow afternoon. Now, if you're going to the game tomorrow, I cannot stress this enough. Make sure to take your favorite Guardians jacket or sweatshirt with you because temperatures will be on the cooler side. This game will be played with temperatures in the upper 50s to near 60 degrees. Still looking at mostly sunny and cool conditions. And by the time the game rolls around, the wind will start to lighten up out of the northwest at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Here's your eight day forecast. Now, if fall is your favorite season. This is probably your favorite eight day forecast that I've shown you in quite some time. High temperatures Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday will be in the low to middle 60s. Those overnight lows will drop well into the 40s. So there will be several mornings this week where you're going where you and the kids are going to need a light jacket or a sweatshirt to kick off the day. Probably want to get that extra large co coffee cup ready as well. Temperatures will start to rebound a little bit as we wrap up the work weekend head into the following weekend with high temperatures in the low to middle 50s. Once the downpours and storms that we're seeing right now clears northeast Ohio, our next chance of rain may not be until the end of next weekend through early next week when another cold front could impact the area. Once again, the showers and downpours that we're seeing across parts of Tuscaroras, um, Carroll and Columbiana County will likely be gone by 8 o'clock this evening. After that, the rest of the area, the entire area will stay dry and quiet overnight, but much cooler air will pour into northeast Ohio overnight, and that's going to set us up for some pretty fantastic weather as we kick off the upcoming work week. I hope you have a great Sunday night and a great work week ahead. Don't forget all of the latest forecasts coming up for you on Fox 8 at 10. And remember, you can always get the very latest forecast at fox8.com. Have a good night, everyone.